Hello, my name is Sami Uld Ahmed. I am a senior application engineer in the Power MOSFET division here in Manchester. 48 volt hot swap applications require MOSFETs that can provide both strong SOA, which is important for linear mode performance, as well as low RDS on. And usually, to achieve both of these characteristics, we require large packages such as D2 Pack or D2 Pack 7. We recently transferred our new SOA silicon technology to our copper clip LF pack package. And this has allowed us the possibility of adding miniaturization gains to the application. In this demo, we will show how these new enhanced SOA LF pack products compare to the traditional D2 pack option. In this demo, we are using evaluation board designed for 48 volt hot swap application. It is the same board, but it is configured to give two modes of operation. These two boards are configured to be exactly the same, and it is HSSS, which stands for High Stress Stage Start. It basically uses one MOSFET, which has a strong SOA performance, to have it um, controlled in its linear mode to supply a capacitive load, represented by this pure capacitor. This board here, which is, as I said, it's the same board, but it is configured to use two MOSFETs in parallel. And again, it was modified so that we can use the D2 pack and the LF pack 56 in parallel and we're going to see the, their performance. So starting with, the, with this board here which uses a D2 pack, um, we are going to power it with a 48 volt input. It will um, output the 48 volt to this capacitive load and we have a current probe capturing the waveform of the current going through the MOSFET and also the slow start or the soft start uh, where the MOSFET is put in um, its linear mode. So without further ado, I'll turn on the, the load. Okay. What we see here in the scope is the VDS, uh, basically the voltage that the MOSFET has been subjected to. That's the MOSFET VDS, which is the voltage across the MOSFET, and the current going through the MOSFET. So in here, we see that it is a 48 volt actually present at the beginning of the, uh, of the start of the MOSFET, which then decays as the capacitive load is charging up. The current itself is showing near enough 10 amps. And as we can see, the initial spike that is to do with the, um, with the demand, the quick demand of the capacitive load uh, that requires a bit of time to adjust. Uh, and we'll see how the LF pack 56 performs and this profile is actually kept for both boards, the D2 pack and the, D2 and the LF pack 56. So moving on to the second board, we just moved everything exactly the same to the second board where the uh, LF pack 56E is implemented. And again, we're going to apply power and the board will control the, uh, the input, the output and turn on the MOSFET accordingly. Capturing it on the screen, uh, we see again the VDS across the MOSFET, which is 48 volt and decaying as the capacitive load is charging, and the current going through the MOSFET. Now the levels are similar, uh, 10 amps. In fact, it's the same level of current going through the, uh, the MOSFET, which is 10 amps. But what's interesting here is if I move this waveform out of the way, earlier we noticed a big spike at the beginning, that's due to the capacitive load as well as the how fast the, uh, the MOSFET um, turns on. Now, with this new technology, that has been engineered so that as a, the, 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 the rate of change in the current makes it that it is smoother than the previous enhanced technology. And this will be apparent when we move on to the um, parallel of the MOSFETs. Now, just to put things in perspective, if you get a close look at the boards. This has the D2 pack and look at the size of the package and this is equipped with the LF pack 56E. Performing exactly the same way or being subjected to the same profile that this board is designed for. The first board and the second board perform more or less exactly the same apart from that the, um, the, the new technology shows a smoother uh, response in the current going through the MOSFET. The board itself is designed for the bigger package, 
for the performance of that bigger package, and nothing has changed for that design, and we just implemented the LFPAC 56E. And as can be appreciated, the size difference between the D2 pack and LFPAC 56E, while the performance has not deteriorated or has been subjected to be the same for both. Moving on to the third board, still within the 48 volt hot swap application uh, evaluation. This board here, as I mentioned, it does the two devices in parallel. And what we have done here is we connected a current probe through each of the two devices. I'm going to capture the current going through each of the devices along with the VDS uh, across them. So what we captured here is the actual current in yellow going through one MOSFET and current in green going through the second MOSFET. The probes are set to uh, same uh, scaling, two amps per division. The overall uh, current required by the capacitive load is about five, five, six amps. And we can see here, it's not the perfect split between the two devices. Nonetheless, they both perform and they both um, issue the current required within their spec. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing but with the uh, LFPAC 56E. So we're subjecting the same profile as we saw earlier with the D2 pack, two devices in parallel, to the LFPAC 56E. In here, we connected the two current probes so that we're going to capture the current going through each of the devices. So without further ado, I'll just apply power and the, what we captured in the scope is the same VDS with 48 volt across the, uh, the MOSFET and the current through each of the devices. What's interesting is that the current seems or current appears to be very very close match between the two devices which is another benefit that this new technology and this latest enhanced generation gives. The demo shows the comparison of our leading SOA technologies in both the traditional D2 pack package and our miniaturized LFPAC 56E. You can see by advancing both the silicon and package technology results in improvement across a number of parameters. Starting with the efficiency you can save in PCB space, LFPAC is both 80% smaller in footprint size and has a height reduction of 75%. With RDS on and current capabilities comparative across the packages, the real strength by placing our new silicon generation in LFPAC is a massive 166% increase in SOA at 50 volt, ideal for 48 volt hot swap systems. The Xperia ASFETs are tailored made devices optimized for use in particular design scenarios. By focusing on specific parameters critical to an application, they provide the new level of performance to best match the system requirement. In the case of FastFETs for hot swap, we have engineered the technology to provide both low RDS on and enhanced SOA free from spiritual effect. Transferring this technology to our LFPAC package provides a solution for space constraint designs with an 80% footprint reduction. Furthermore, another feature of this technology is that it provides better current sharing capabilities when these devices are used in parallel. Well, thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website, nexperia.com.